Okay. Oh, this is giving me like a little business set. Uh, maybe I need to do this for like my business videos, you know. Hi guys, it's Taylor and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you know whenever I upload. Okay, okay. So y'all, for today's video, I went to Bath & Body Works at the last minute last night because they were doing a $5.95 body care or body mist type of sale and at first you know I was not gonna get anything but then I turned on my computer I was watching some YouTube eating and I was like mm, I kind of want to go get something so you know what I did I got in the car and I went to go get it last night and I have them all in this bag right here I have a total of eight body mists that I picked up so we're just gonna jump right into it so I can show you guys what I got all right you guys so like I said I have eight mists I have eight of the regular size ones and then one mini travel size one because both the travel sizes and the full sizes were both $5.95 on sale so I'm just gonna pick right out of the bag and I'm actually gonna start off with the travel size one that I got and this one is Butterfly, this is one of their newer scents, I believe. I not have any scent notes on it, so actually let me pull them up on my phone really quick. They got free shipping today. Ah! Okay, so I have the fragrance notes pulled up. It says, it smells like an empowering flight through sweet floral spring air. The notes are raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. And when I first smelled this scent, wasn't too sure. I was like, mm, I don't know if I really like this or not. But the store associate was like, it kind of smells like sweet pea, but just a better version of it. So I am really excited to try this out this spring. I am going to use it a few times to see, you know, how I really do like it. Because like I said, I am iffy on the scent. And uh, sweet pea, the original sweet pea is not for me, girl. Like, I I don't like it. I don't want it. Like, I just I just don't like the smell of it. The next one that I have here is one of the newer scents that just came out. This is Cloud Nine. And first of all, the packaging for this new like collection is really cute. I really like the little clouds and just everything about it. The fragrance notes on this are Lavender Breeze, Morning Dew Drops, and Cozy Amber. It smells really nice. I do get a lot of that Cozy Amber note. It kind of almost smells musky to me, even though... It doesn't explicitly state that it has a musky type of note. It kind of smells a little bit musky to me. So I'm going to definitely see how I like that. I don't have the body care or the lotions too. I just have the mist. So I'm just going to see how I like that first before I end up purchasing the body cream. I don't know if it comes in the body lotion. But I have seen the body cream. But obviously I didn't pick that up. I just only got the mist girl. So moving along, the next scent that I have here is Pastel Skies from that same collection as well. The notes on this one are soft clay berries, pink spun sugar, and coconut musk. And I actually prefer how this one smells as opposed to Cloud9. Like if I had to choose between one of these, I would definitely go with Pastel Skies. It just smells really nice, kind of like cotton candy. It's very sweet and sugary. I believe people say this is also like a repackage or it smells similar to um, Boardwalk Taffy, Cotton Candy Clouds, Whitberry Meringue, which I need to smell them side by side, at least Whitberry Meringue and this one to get a true idea of it. But I really do like this one and I feel like this is going to be a nice spring scent as well. Okay, next one that I got is definitely one of their popular fun fragrance mists. Definitely a fan favorite i just never bit into the hype but i was like hey they're 5.95 let me just pick one up and this is a thousand wishes the notes on this one are pink prosecco sparkling quince crystal peony gilded amber and amaretto creme and i actually do like how this one smells now i initially smelled a thousand wishes for you before i even smelled this one i smelled a thousand wishes for you back in like the holiday time when it released and I liked how it smelled. A lot of people sm said that this one and the For You version smell similar. I do kind of think they smell similar, but also the For You version smells a little bit different than this one, especially with that jasmine note in it. But A Thousand Wishes is definitely a nice, sweet, girly scent. It's not overdoing it, but it's not also something that is just like... Mm, I feel like this is up there with Champagne Toast, which Champagne Toast is one of my favorites. I love that scent. But this one just smells really, really nice. I'm glad to finally have it in my collection. It definitely, I do definitely get that pink Prosecco note 
in it. It smells very bubbly, champagne-like. So, okay, next one I picked up is Pure Wonder. The scent notes on this one is Ice Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. Now, this is a scent that I've actually been going back and forth on picking up for a while when I first started in the store. I thought about getting it, but I was like, no, I'll wait. And so they were $5.95. I said, let me pick it up, girl, like I said. It definitely is like a really light scent. Like, I don't even know if this would be one that lasts. But just based on smelling it right now, I feel like this is not a scent that's going to, you know, last a while. But it is really nice, sweet, light, and airy. I, don't, I can't put my finger on exactly what this smells like, but it does smell like a really nice sweet fragrance not super sweet you know like sugary sweet fragrances but it is a really nice warm type of sweet scent i'm moving right along this i feel as though is another bath and body works like favorite by a lot of people this is into the night the notes on this one are raspberry noir amber crystals velvety rose petals creamy patucci and mocha musk and i feel like this is more so one of bath and body works perfumey type of scents like it kind of smells like an expensive perfume and that's i think what i really like about this one i have heard a lot of people say that as well but i was like mm, i don't really care for that but no clearly i care for it and i feel like this definitely could be up there with perfume type of scents or actual perfume scents so i this also kind of has that bubbly type of note i feel like this is perfect for new year's or like parties like celebration type of parties i feel like this is the scent that you would wear all right next one i picked up is gingham heart of gold as y'all know this is in the gingham family where they have the original gingham in the blue and white packaging gingham love which is in the red and white packaging and then they have gingham heart of gold i do have gingham love but i don't have the regular gingham i didn't feel the need to pick it up because i already have the love version and now this one but the notes on this are crisp golden apple creamy vanilla bean and warm sandalwood and i actually kind of like how this smells i definitely do get the original gingham dna in this one it smells a lot like the original gingham but with a touch of the additional notes in here i do get a lot of that apple note which i don't really mind personally i like how it smells actually i wasn't sure of it at first i was like crisp pear apple or crisp golden apple girl i don't know how i feel about that but i do actually like how it smells it's like the right amount of apple and vanilla mixed together so that it's not overly fruity but it's not also overly warm it's the perfect in between mixture that i feel like a lot of people definitely will like especially as like a starter scent from bath and body works all right y'all we're on the last mist that i picked up from this sale and this one is in the stars which is another i feel is a bath and body works favorite the notes on this one are starflower sandalwood musk sugar tangelo white agar wood and radiant amber and i also feel like this is one of those like celebratory type of scents that's in the same category as to the night and a thousand wishes i do get a lot of the sandalwood musky type of scent it is to me a very musky type of scent and i also feel as though this smells like another one of those perfumey type of scents from bath and body works as well i really like how this smells at first i really didn't think i would care for this scent but it does smell pretty nice and decent i will get a lot of use out of this one and into the night especially i feel as though you you could possibly mix these two together and they would smell really good let's see all right you guys so those were all of the fine fragrance mists that i picked up during the most recent 5.95 body care mist sale thank you all so much for watching this video i hope you all really liked and enjoyed it if you did please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and commenting down below and i will see you all in my next video bye guys